Oh, no, actually, I've got something I need to fucking address. I'm always consciously aware of it's not just a matter of let's start a new client, let's start a new client, it's how do we blow these clients out of the water and there's things happening all the time for it, you know, and even if that's sending out a gift to them, sending something, just really being proactive on that approach to really keep the relationship with the clients alive, I think that's super important from a business perspective. We want to be known for that as well. Oh, you can't be. Fresh as a daisy. I can smell Saturday and Sunday. I can smell it. It smells like Inner Circle. It smells like business. Got a bunch of my uh, Inner Circle students coming on in. Going to be spending the weekend working on their business. So I'm looking forward to that. Really exciting. Today, another busy day, of course, as always. It's just what you got to do when they're coming through. A lot's happening over the next couple of weeks, so you're gonna be in for a little bit of a ride. Oh, actually, I've got something I need to fucking address. Last night, I was scrolling through Facebook, as you do, right? And I fucking am blown away. Australia Post, I'm calling you out. Australia Post have now created something called, well, let me give some context. Australia Post, the so-called word that's floating around is Australia Post obviously is, uh, you know, they're not very profitable in a sense, like business is going downhill, as you can imagine. However, firstly, I give you props for trying to move into different avenues and different areas. And they've created something called Social Ad Mate. Basically, this is what it says. We'll manage your social ads so you can get on with business. Let us help you reach new customers and generate leads with our social media advertising service. Now, I was like, well, wow, that's fucking pretty crazy. And then I go through and I keep click clicking view packages, I was like, I wonder what they're charging. The basic, $270 a month plus GST, minimum six month contract, I get the contract, yep, yeah, cool. Included one monthly always on ad campaign with two ad variants. So basically what they're saying there is, we'll put one fucking ad up and put up two different images and run the A-B split test and just let that motherfucker run. Then we move on. They've got an intermediate, which goes up, scales up a bit more. Now, here's here's the problem I have with it. It's not that, you know, because there'll be people going, oh, but you can, it's good for people who don't have, you know, a lot of money to get started. I'm like, yes, that is true to a, to a sense, but that's like going, well, I'm going to go and take on a university degree and imagine there's no hex, like you can't, the government ain't helping you. I'm going to take on a university degree, but because I don't have the $40,000 for the university degree, what I'm going to do is just do one one little paper at a time, one paper a year, so it takes you 20 years to finish your fucking degree. Right, that's really the methodology they're trying to approach here, going, let us just put one ad up. You know, like it's, it's, it's negligent to the sense that you believe by putting one ad up with two images, and that's what they're doing for the month. I mean, you, you might as well go fucking go to Vegas and put $1,000 on red or black. It's, oh, it's ridiculous. Then we go down, they've got an intermediate, They've got an advanced. This is their advance, so triple the price, 700 bucks a month. One monthly always add-on campaign, that's what they call it. So always on ad, so they must just leave the fucking thing running. Even if it ain't working, we'll leave it running. With three ad variants. So add in another image by going click new image. They're gonna charge you more, but here's, here's the, the pro pack, right? 1500 bucks a month, they'll, only, they'll give you two monthly ads and six ad variants. So basically creating potentially two ad sets with three images in each ad set, and that's gonna cost you 1500 bucks. And here's what they've even said objectives, you know, they're trying to say, well, these are the impressions you'll get, these are the website clicks you'll get. On their advanced ad campaign, they're saying, basically what it works out at, fuck, that can't be, yeah, that's right. <laughs> so basically in the advanced ad campaign, they have an objective and it says, you know, we'll get you this many website clicks. The amount that they're charging versus what they're saying from a website click, is good. they're saying they'll get you website clicks for $6.40. Holy fucking Toledo's, that is like a website click. That means you're paying six bucks for someone to go on your ad, not even doing anything else. That's crazy. So I would be more intrigued to see how they're doing this. Like I'm sure they have to be outsourcing this to some fucking cheap ass agency who just, 
you know, probably one of the agencies who we we managed or we actually interviewed one of their team members and their objective was you just sit and forget ads and you check it every month. Like, it's just crazy. Anyway, Australia Post, I'm, I'm not here to try and, I am actually, I'm here. I'm here to tell you that you either jump, this is the thing, this is where I get fucking annoyed more so is, and this is why so many people are coming to us going, oh, I've tried this person, I've tried this person before. Now we're not the cheapest agency. I don't want to be the cheapest agency because then you're competing with shit like this. Like, yeah, I could charge you 200 bucks a month. Happy to set up one ad and leave it running for an entire month. But that's not what advertising is about. It's not a set and forget methodology. I almost, you know what? I almost, I might buy this basic package and see what the fuck they do. And maybe do a running case study. So I'm happy to, to drop. Yeah, I think that could be good. You know what? Here's, here's, here's the thing. I could sit here and complain about it. I can actually, like they might be the fucking best in the world at ads. They're clearly not the best at fucking mail delivery. But, all right. I'm gonna do it. Because it'll be interesting to see their process. I mean, like, you know, the reality is, hey, for 260, that could be the best 260 bucks I ever invest. But, you know, knowing what I know, I doubt that's gonna be the, um, oh, wow. So this is how, okay. Create your social account. I'm just gonna do it now. Brett Campbell, email address. Brett at Campbell Media. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like here you upload your own ad images. Oh, are you serious? Yeah. You probably have to create your own ad. <laughs> yeah. I've got a feeling they're just gonna be driving one ad to my website, not to a funnel, so there's gonna be none of that happening. Upload my images, create your ad image library. Ah, oh, fuck off. Use the right pictures, help your ads to stand out. Although we have an access to stock of libraries, we suggest uploading some. Wow, so this is like in set up your ads automated wise. All right, I'm just gonna put a selfie of me up there. You know what I should do? We should upload an image of, we should upload an image that is, don't hire Australia Post for your ads. We should do it. We should get them to run, we should get them to run an anti-ad campaign again. <laughs> uh, let's just go no images. Let's see what they come up with. They surely, oh wow, you get a review and pay right here. Okay, well there's no, that you're paying that just to run ads to your website that I just put in there. So there's no, they're not using tracking pixels. They're not using anything that's going to be able to track any of your, even if you're spending $200. Well, oh, see, there's the other thing. They haven't even talked about ad spend. Right, that's what I'm saying. Wow. So you could end up spending 50 grand. Sure, that, that would have a limit. Yeah. But you can't get to that until you, you buy this. Wow. They're 15, they're, they're $1,500 a month is even like, that is ridiculous. Is it, you're gonna go through the same process. You don't even speak to a person. Yeah, that's the other thing. I'm just looking, is there any way out? If I wanna cancel you fuckers, I don't wanna be, be an expensive test. I hope you guys don't fuck. Well, actually, here's the thing. Go and try Australia Post. Go and try their services and then give us a call at 1-300-GET-CMG. Cause you'll need us after that. You're just gonna waste your fucking money. That's appalling. Welcome to Friday's challenge. Today we've got blueberries in the mouth. How many can I get in a row? How many do you think I can get? Right your number. Right your number. Think of your number. Okay. Are we ready? Okay, that's it. Yeah, a little bit of word of warning for everyone. If you get in a Facebook ad that says it's disapproved and you don't believe it is, always dispute it. I always dispute ads. A lot of them are accepted by robots, so who knows what the algorithm's picking up or not picking up. So there's definite merit in always getting something rechecked. Well. Have a week down. Well, not really. Week's still going, I've got, mate. I've got peeps to help this weekend. I'll be back here tomorrow morning. A couple of hours in before. The crew arrives. Um, so that's it for you, vlog. Because Jake's not committed. He should be here on Saturday, Sunday as well. He can't handle. Actually, are you? When did, have you told your flatmates you're moving out? Like, are they Next just. Week? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'd be following them up, man. Like, yeah. like I would have followed up five times today. Especially when it comes to that. Dude, when, when, I, when I bought our house out at 
um, where I bought it. Uh, <laughs> Don't need to say it, but um, we were told on I think the 10th of December. It was the 10th of December that our landlord wanted us out on the 10th, 10th of January. I'm like, motherfucker, like timing. And we'd just been building like the franchise had really just, you know, we'd had about up to 20 something locations at the time. Like it was just all going. And here I am having to go. Okay, Emily, um, we might not have somewhere to live. But then I didn't want to rent, so I was like, let's buy a house. 10th of December, I remember we we went to a well, Emily did a little bit of looking online, found a couple of houses, went and looked at one, didn't like it, asked if we could, if they had anything else on. She's like, yeah, this week can I do? I said, oh, you know, can we look at it tomorrow? Went in on Tuesday, looked at the house and just signed, signed the papers. I didn't even know if I could buy it at that stage. Like I hadn't even done my tax returns. I hadn't even done anything. Here I am signing a lease for a house or like to purchase a house. So then in that like 15 day period of finding out we we're gonna leave to up to Christmas. I actually looked at my phone and, and I remember looking at it, I'd spent, um, there's something like 57 hours of combined calling. I was on the phone to accountants, I was on the phone to different banks, to different mortgage lenders. Cause I didn't, I didn't just go to one bank. Cause I, cause of where I was at the stage of like business, I didn't do tax, I didn't have my two years worth of tax returns to prove I could buy a house. 23rd of December, I got a call at 4 p.m. Like I remember, I was, this was this is how I spent the day of the 23rd, the last day of work for that year. I was sitting in my office just like this, feeling ill, like sick, he locked his door. because I didn't know if it was going to work. Because the accountant, because I had to get my my tax returns done within that fucking two week time frame as well. And then the accountant did it, and I gave him specific instructions on certain things, and he did it wrong. So it showed that I actually didn't earn any money. Like it was it was a fucking debacle. I was like. Uh, but it was, it was crazy. That was the worst two week period I've ever experienced in my life. And launching a brand new product where I was up, I was at the office at 4 a.m. every fucking morning for that period, trying to get it done. And then as soon as 9 a.m. came, I was like, okay, I've got to get us a house. I've got to get this sorted. I've got to go do all this stuff. Man, that was hectic. Right. So basically what you're suggesting is that I buy a house. Yeah, and give yourself a couple of week time frame to do it. Thank you for watching today's vlog. If you would like to tune into another episode, hit the video on your left. And don't forget to subscribe by hitting the link on the right.